Hi, this is a quick tutorial about how to use Corel Draw to create a two color graphic for outputting to your vinyl cutter of choice. Uh, for this particular demo, we'll be using the Roll and Cut Studio software in conjunction with Corel Draw, uh, which we have installed as a plugin. Um, so we're just going to do a basic text design. I'm going to click on my text tool and we'll type in a name. We'll use my name, I'm Josh Ellsworth. First thing you want to do is uh, type in your name and then you want to select the pick tool and select the, the font that you want to use off of your program. So if I want to use an impact font, I simply select that. At this point, after I have the font selected that I like, I need to convert that font to curves. In order to do that, I go to Arrange, Convert to Curves. After I've converted to curves, now it's reading as an, an image or a graphic rather than a font. So at that point I can uh, size the object to the size I like. If I want to make it 10 inches wide, I can do that. After I have it to the proper size, the next thing I want to do is uh, create a contour or an outline around this to create my two colors. In order to do that, I'm going to go up to the Effects tab and go to Contour. I have the option to contour to the inside or the outside. For vinyl cutting, you typically want to contour to the outside. And then I can type in an offset number, and this is a fraction of an inch. So I want to do a 0.25, which would be a quarter of an inch offset. Uh, you can put in whatever you want here, and then click Apply. And then you can see it automatically creates the outline for you. Um, at that point, you have two separable layers here. Um, let's change the color of one so you can easily see it. Um, everything's reading as one layer, so if I try to move it, everything's going to move together. If I try to send it over to my Cut Studio software to output to the cutter, it's going to send both layers. What I prefer to do in this instance is actually break apart these two layers so I can send them individually, which is what you need to do for cutting. So I'm going to have everything selected, and I'm going to go up to Arrange and Break Contour Group Apart. At that point, I can click off of the design and then I can click just the foreground layer and I can drag it away from the background layer. So as you can see I have a, a layer that I'm going to send to my yellow material which is the foreground and a layer that I'm going to send to the black material which is the background. I find the best way uh, to take this over into Cut Studio since it takes the whole file that's on the page when you click this button is to copy and paste or actually to cut and paste one of your layers to the second page. So in this instance, I'm going to take the background layer, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to go down to my bottom left in Corel here, and I'm going to add a second page, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste that background layer onto the page. So as you can see, I have uh, my background layer. If I was doing multiple images, I'd have all my background layers cutting out a black material on page two, and all my foreground layers on page one. So whenever I click the icon to take it over into Cut Studio, or at this point to whatever cut driver you're using to output to your cutter. It's going to take a moment to launch here. But it's just going to take the piece of the design that's on that page. So at this point I can take it into my cut studio, I can mirror the image of course, and then I can go ahead and send it across to my cutter. Likewise, after I've cut the yellow layer, I can go back into Corel to my background layer, and I can hit the cut studio plug-in button and it will take just that background layer. Now I load my black material in my cutter and I go ahead and, and send this file after I've mirrored it over to cut. So that's just a quick tutorial of how to create a two color name in Corel. Uh, for more information on heat applied graphics and vinyl cutting equipment and heat presses, please visit joshellsworth.com. Thanks for watching today.